Drosophila is actually one of the best known, conceptually best understood animals that we have. And therefore, as long as you want to teach fundamental biology, it's an ideal teaching tool. It makes the teacher feel excited and enthused about it, so they can pass that on to the students. It allows us to bring the organisms, the living organisms, into school so the pupils can do experimentation and do studies on real living things. You can use flies to look at the effect of um, allele frequency over 40 generations and therefore actually we could simulate this in a, in a laboratory. It was just so exciting to see the Drosophila um, in, in, in the lab and say, wow, I, I've seen these before, but the only thing I did with them at the time was to do genetic crosses. And it's just so interesting to see the breadth and the use of Drosophila now. We are trying in our resources to connect a number of specifications and that way basically help students to see how things link together. If it's not one topic, respiration, photosynthesis, genetics, it, you're looking at systems and they pull out lots of different parts of the curriculum. We were really lucky to have such great schools to interact with, so Sorita and Loreto College, as well as Catherine and Trinity, um, they both were fantastic collaborators. They'd used me really as a teaching assistant, which meant I got a lot of hands-on experience doing practicals, etc., as well as being able to observe them and, and learn valuable teaching skills and sort of see what material would be appropriate for the students. Where I'm at now is now taking these materials I've developed, teaching them in schools um, and sort of developing those materials further based on the feedback I get from those classes. There's such a lot of things to get through in the specification that I think some of the excitement about science disappears. We need to improve uh, the quality of biology practicals for school age students because Really, I think they become unenthused, partly because we can't provide those uh, practical experiences. In former times, flies have been used, for example, in schools, have been used uh, in order to do classical genetics. But there's so much more to the fly that people simply don't know about. We have um, one resource uh, which involves alcohol and drosophila, uh, and that should be a very exciting package for the students sort of the social aspect of uh, alcohol, whether students drink or not, um, you know, it has an important sort of influence on, uh, on society. Yeah, I think it's good using real animals and looking at um, how alcohol consumption is universal and it's persistent throughout the animal kingdom. The idea that that actually has a genetic basis and that Jenny was, be, was able then to link that to, to so many topics that they study I mean, she literally went from dehydrogenase enzymes right through to Darwin. It's covered like lots of different things like enzymes, translation, natural selection, and kind of across like the whole of biology. And I'm trying to integrate lots of different parts of the curriculum, especially since the curriculum's changing at the moment. This is something I've had to take into account. So you talk to people and say, should I tell you about flies? And then people said, ah, yeah, I remember, I did it 30 years ago in school. So you already have a much more open-minded person. Um, and this effect, I think we won't have back. We want that students come to university and think that these little invertebrate model organisms are important. I would like to see more interaction between schools and universities. I think that's really important. If we're trying to get students to engage in biology and move forward in their studies of biology and go into universities in the future, then this interaction between schools and universities is fundamental. Yeah.